I don't know if you can hear this. Some, some rattling coming from inside the gearbox. So I need to find out what that is. So the uh, next project will be stripping the mill down to find out where that rattle's coming from. found what I think is the fault, but it might not be. Um, the teeth on this uh, drive, for some reason in this position, I think it might have been when I overloaded it the other day, trying to use a 16mm drill bit teeth seem to have uh, deformed anyway. Um, so I've contacted uh, the manufacturer, well not the manufacturer, I've contacted the supplier to see if they've got a spare. I can, uh, can see the damage here on the teeth. It's in a couple of places there. Anyway, looking at this, it's uh, fairly easy to replace. Get some of this old grease out of there. I don't know why they've got grease all over the top here. But uh, anyway, get rid of that. I'll put some more grease in when I put the, the new one back in. Right, I think it's just a case of unclipping this uh, sir clip. keep my hand on that so it doesn't go flying across the shop. That's the last thing I want. Right, that out. So I'm guessing that just lifts off now. There's a little key in there. I hope that's not going to drop down into the abyss when I uh, lift it up. Keep an eye on that. There's a bearing there, which will uh, stop that from falling. Great, got that. All right, that's a get rid of that. That's the little washer. That's a little washer that um, drop down the back so be careful when you're taking this top off because it was this back one on this corner I didn't realize there's a washer on and as I pulled the bolt out it dropped through the wire hole down into the uh, 
mechanism below so at least I've got that out now so I don't need to worry about that churning anything up and that's quite a simple replacement this one just goes back over let's get some grease in there Got some lithium grease in there. There we go. That's a bit more. some of the surplus just a case of getting the circlet back on now and spin that round so that's opposite that and let's see if that's uh, stop that horrible um, graunching sound now give that a bit of a test it's got to come off again because I've got to put the uh, the sensor on for the um, I've got to put this uh, oh no that goes uh, no, that goes on this side it doesn't really seem to be any way to um, offer up the uh, you know to get, to get any any adjustment so I'm just assuming that it automatically goes in the right place but I don't know whether it does or not because you can. Yeah, move that a little bit. Anyway, let's fire it up and see what happens. Let's turn it down. Great, that's, uh, that's fixed that horrible noise. I've just uh, squirted that with a bit of brake cleaner so you can see what damage was done to the teeth. Purely self-inflicted, this is uh, myself getting a bit greedy with the tooling and expecting this uh, poor old mill to do uh, more than it's capable of. But anyway, these pieces are about 20 pounds, English pounds. Um, I don't know what that is in dollars, probably about $25. So they're, they're even cheaper from China, £10 I think, and about $12. Um, but uh, yeah, they're sacrificial parts anyway, so I suppose I'm lucky, uh, you know, a couple of years down the road with this mill, probably about three years old. Yeah, about three years old this mill now. And that's the first time I've, I've messed it up. And, and looking at the rest of the teeth, there's very little wear on the rest of them. So I'm quite pleased with that, that's fixed the problem and now I can get back on with the model. That's the hole that uh, caught me out when I took this bolt out and lifted it up, the washer fell off down that hole so stuff a bit of tissue or something in there before you take the uh, top off uh, save you having the same problem. Get the, uh, the top uh, bolted back on now. Just put the uh, little speed sensor back together. This is quite a, a simple little thing actually. It's just uh, an optical sensor that um, measures the gaps of the light coming through these little uh, cutouts.
get the top back on now. That's easier said than done because the top, in my case, has got the, uh, the digital readout on it. As it turned out, obviously I didn't know at the time, but um, I didn't have to remove the uh, spindle drawbar, but uh, Anyway, don't matter. It's uh, it's done now. I could have uh, taken it apart with the drawbar still in place. So anyway, uh, my mistake is your gain. Great. Great, that's the best it's sounded for a long time. So anyway, quite a simple job if you need to replace the drive gear. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and to show your appreciation for the time and effort put into making these videos, please consider subscribing and hit the like button and I'll catch you next time.